Hello everyone. Happy, happy Monday. It is February 1st. First. I hope you all are doing well. It's been snowing here all day. With nothing to show for it. With nothing. It hasn't stuck at all. If it had stuck this whole time, we would have some accumulation and it would be really, really nice. But we don't and that's okay. Guys, we had a great uh, team-wide, company-wide meeting today. Lots of things are in place. We have lots of balls rolling. So things, much goodness. Things are turning in a really, really great direction. We are mainly focusing on pouring into you guys more this year and that is a great goal that we cannot mm -hmm. wait to achieve and surpass because just like Tanner said in our meeting downstairs you guys are the reason we get to do what we do every single day so we want to make sure you guys feel amazing and happy and like you're cared for because you guys are you guys are like our um second family I heard someone say no Salem yeah I'm looking right now but Tanya I have heard no one else say that so I feel like it might have just been Miss Tanya hold on it's snowing here. Yeah, I think they can yeah, hear Yeah, we have though. sound. We yeah, have sound. I, sorry, Tanya. But if you guys are brand new, if we have any brand new people that this is their first ever live stream, let us know. Raise your hand. We cannot wait to welcome you here. Becky's first live stream. She said, I love watching my Tennesseans. Aww. Love that. Welcome, welcome, Becky. We're so ha happy you're here today, rather. Yes. Guys, well, listen, about 11 inches of snow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I wouldn't know what to do with all that snow. Guys, we're going to make a super fun craft project today. I'm not taking the credit for this, not one single bit. Becca came downstairs from filming a really awesome member only for you guys. The one and that was Friday's member yes, only, so you guys have probably And that seen one it. is a bit more in-depth, a bit cooler than this one because our members deserve that. But I had to take her technique and show the entire world how amazing it is so that you guys can do it yourselves. So what this is, is basically using a blank, which is any item you put vinyl on and painting it and using the exact same or super similar color of vinyl or HTV to over create top a of it. monochromatic look. To create yeah. a monochromatic look. And guys, it is gorgeous. I'm praying that the um, camera, the overhead camera, can really capture the beauty and the subtlety of this technique because it's gorgeous. And today we're gonna be using a pattern and a font today to be making a really fun, I see these on Etsy and I see these on Pinterest all the time. They're like uh, little frame sets and usually they're much larger, but we wanted to do it on a smaller scale today. Um, and it's with song lyrics. Because we have fonts and if you guys are members with us, you get access to fonts. We have over 500 fonts and over 6,000 cut files, including these amazing patterns today. Uh, but we're using a font to and all the uh, freedom that that font offers, which is the entire alphabet, to create a quote from a song that I love if you guys are into country music which that's probably 80% of what we listen to here um, Luke Combs came out with a song recently that's called Forever After All and these are some of my favorite lyrics from the song I've seen this type of project recreated and I could not wait to put our little monochromatic spin on it so that's what we're going to be doing today if you guys have any questions be sure to let us know as always Beck and I are here to help you through this live stream uh, we have all of these supplies on the table which I will talk about they're also all linked down below and if you are brand new and you don't know who we are or kind of what we do me and Becca helped run an amazing digital die cutting community called makers gonna learn and it is literally our job to make sure you guys are confident well-rounded crafters with all of the inspiration education and motivation you will ever need to use your die cutting machine so whether you are day one and haven't even opened it We've got you. We have an incredible course that is Master Your Cricut in 30 Days or Less. This is available only to our yearly members. So if you would like to jump on the bandwagon and learn to master your Cricut in less than a month, please do that. This is an incredible program. The very first day is opening your Cricut. We go on through all of the in and outs of design space, terminology, helpful tips, troubleshooting advice, how to's. We give you everything in this amazing course. It's awesome. And let's just say you've had your Cricut for a while and you are kind of just kind of in a slump on it. You don't really know what else you can do. We have so much inspiration here. We have a lot of member only content. Miss Becca pours her heart into making sure you guys have some amazing 
amazing things to do every single week. And also, we give you guys new things every single week, whether that be cut files, fonts, or a craft challenge to get those wheels turning and to step up your craft game. We have those every single week for you guys. Um, and we love to pour into you. So if you are interested in learning how to use your machine or you want some more motivation or inspiration on how to continue to use your machine, click that very first link below or the link that Miss Becca is posting in the comments because we're so excited to have you. Um, yes, hello everyone. It's train time, yes. And yes, I see all the hearts. Yes, we love this song too. It's a great one. And the best thing is if you don't like country music, you don't like Luke Combs, or you just don't like the words that I've chosen, you can have the font and use it to make whatever you want. If you guys have a song in mind, maybe it's a song you and your husband walk down the aisle to, or if you and your gal pals have a favorite tune, or it could just be a normal quote, or in my house um, at home, which I'm probably gonna replace with these, um, I have two canvases and one says, hello, handsome and one says good morning gorgeous i have those do you did you get them from hobby Lobby? Yes. yes those are in my bathroom i love them so cute so i have those above our bed and it's kind of like the same thing just kind of they're playing off of each other they're simple they're cute so um, i'm probably going to replace them with this but just get inspired look at um canvas quote sets on pinterest and see what you like but i cannot wait to have you guys master this amazing technique now um, unless I've seen any questions, which I think Miss Becca has got them all. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I think you guys are doing great. You guys are awesome. Um, I will go ahead and go through the supplies. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. All of these are also linked down below. So we have two different kinds of iron-on that we're using today. This is Caesar brand, Caesar Easy Weed. We have black and this gray. Um, this is a gorgeous gray, and it happened to match perfectly with my paint. I didn't even have to mix paint, which I thought I would. So I do want to mention that if you guys are discouraged, uh, if you don't seem to have the color paint as you do vinyl or vice versa, you can use your paints, mix them together and try and find something that resembles it. Or if you would like to go a different route with this, you can actually make the vinyl and the paint a different color. It's beautiful, still great results, but this is what we're doing um, today. So this color is slate gray and this is Americana Deco Art just acrylic paint. It is linked below. Um, now, I do want to mention in a perfect world, this is how I would have done today's craft. I would have mixed iron on wood with um, regular vinyl on top of iron on because I wanted to show you guys that that is possible and it is easy. However, my plan for that was to add a coat of polycrylic before I added our regular adhesive vinyl. Now, you don't have to do that. It would work well just without doing that but i really wanted to seal it and make this project last forever so if you guys are interested in that you can use regular vinyl you can seal it you can seal the all iron on one whatever you want to do i'm probably going to go ahead and seal them today and this is clear satin if you want to use matte or gloss whatever kind of finish that you guys want feel free and um, we also have a teflon sheet here because we're using our mini easy press so we have him here as well um and then kind of uh, the star of the show today are these square plaques from Hobby Lobby. And this one does not have a, a, a tag on it, but this one does. It is wood pile. And let me just go ahead and tell you, you guys know how important it is for us to size things in design space. Do you remember? So important. So as we're trying to size our iron on square for design space to fit perfectly on these guys, you're gonna to start to measure it and realize they are not perfect squares and that is gonna confuse you in design space. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know I made that mistake with this part of this project. Not noticeable enough to matter, but I did. Now, the best tip I have for you guys to not make this mistake at all is if you have something like this that is not a perfect circle, go ahead and look up the link Okay, look up the link to the product and they will have the exact dimensions, especially if you don't seem to have a tag like this one doesn't. But it is, I thought it was eight by eight. Guys, this is 7.87 inches. And who in the world would have known that if you were just trying to measure and be super precise about it? So if you want a super precise measurement, which is really important in design space, read the tag, make sure you know exactly what the dimensions are for the square. And that's going to help you tremendously in sizing this correctly. Or you'll be doing like what I did and have to be trimming like millimeters off and trying to make sure it all lines up. And that's just not what we want to do. We want craft successes, not craft fails. So... 
I hope that you guys are still doing good. I hope I haven't overwhelmed you. Really not a lot of supplies today. I'm pleasantly surprised with the low amount of supplies that we have. Um, we have went ahead and pre-painted this. So, and we only did one coat guys. Usually you have to do two or three, but here was my thinking about it too. If I do one thicker coat, I'm also going to be having the HDV on top of that plus another layer of vinyl on top of that. So if I have a little bit of wood grain showing, I do not think that that is worth slapping another coat, waiting for it to dry extra time. Um, and one coat looks really, really good. I'll show this on the overhead cam as well, but flawless to me. I don't need uh, to add another coat. So I did one coat of that acrylic paint. And Miss Becca, how are we doing in the comments? Good. Very are good. Are we? Mm -hmm. Yay. Had a couple of comments on what okay. do we mean by iron on wood. Um, a little bit of confusion there. Okay. And so I just I answered it, but we can we can Sure, talk sure. About so that's that. a great question. We we forget often as I forget that January, February, March is beginner cricketer mm -hmm. season. And that's it's means our favorite season. It's our favorite season. And that means that you guys are kind of uh, you, well, your brain's making new. It's a whole new world. You guys are trying to soak up everything and learn as much as you can. So iron on wood is the term we use for using heat transfer vinyl, which is not typically used on wood, and we use it on wood. Now, the process will take a little bit longer. It's going to take a little bit more you know, patience from you guys, but it's so great. We absolutely love to iron on wood as much as we possibly can. Uh, Miss Becca's member only, I don't think it was iron on. Was it regular vinyl? Yeah. Or was it iron on? It was regular So vinyl. if you want to know how to do this with regular vinyl to make it, if you want it super easy, um, then you can go and look at Miss Becca's video. There are pros and cons to using both regular vinyl and um, heat transfer, or yeah, heat transfer vinyl. And the more that you guys craft, the more you will see that. Sometimes it's easier to place things if you have HTV because you can place it down and pick it up several times over and over. Whereas if you have regular um, just standard vinyl that is adhesive backed, it will stick and not want to go anywhere. It's kind of like a one chance type of um, lay when, where, whereas if you had HTV, you can pick it up and lay it down as many times as you want to make sure it's aligned perfectly. Um, and then on the flip side, with regular vinyl, you just burnish and peel off and you're done. Whereas with and HTV, it's less expensive. And it's less expensive. Great point, Becca. Um, and then if you have HTV, it's going to be a bit more time consuming. You're going to have to get super close, really get in there with your um, mini easy press. Which brings me to another point, which is I would not recommend any iron on wood project without the mini easy press. I would not do it with a household iron. I would not do it with a nine by nine. I would not do it with a six by seven. I would definitely not do it with a 10 by 12. Um, you want the mini. It is the cheapest. It's the most affordable, which means you need to have one anyways. And it's incredible for all iron on projects, especially iron on wood. Now, I hope that you did, um, hear all of that. I don't want you guys to be overwhelmed or anything. Iron on wood and it was a disaster. Patricia, there is no doubt in our mind that we still have project fails with iron on wood sometimes, especially when we... Yeah, Google charcuterie board maker's going to learn. Stop. I had a nice disaster on a live with it. Guys, especially when we're live yes. and we have prepped our hearts out, Some things, things, sometimes things go south. Just like today, I just did this one like less than an hour ago. This one could go completely south. Totally good. And let me tell you, sometimes it's because you're rushing. Sometimes it's because you uh, don't know the exact steps to take in order to complete the project. Or you didn't let it dry enough. It's, mm -hmm. Sometimes you didn't let it dry enough, your paint or your uh, stain or what have you. And other times it's good old fashioned bad luck. Whatever. Or the case bad may vinyl. Be, or bad vinyl. There's you, so many variables. So many variables. Which is what, what we're saying in all of that is that it might not be you. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, don't try like it if you've again. only tried it once, definitely try it again. Oh, Becca, also Yes, Aaliyah, thank you for for laughing in my distress. Aaliyah, uh, no. Well they, they laugh at my, they still laugh at my um doormat. Oh, you know, yeah. Well there I mean, there are lives ingrained in my and Rachel's brains where we're like, if we didn't get fired that day, we'll likely be good forever. Yeah. Like what else could like, we have done on Oh our wow. I'm pretty sure I was almost broken down in tears with that door. She was very frustrated and I honestly was I was like, almost like Becca, cut this live off. I'm gonna go like jump out the window. I hadn't done too too many lives with you at that point. So I was like, Well what, what, what do I do? <laughs> What do I do? Now I would just make fun of you. And she would. She would. Yeah. She's like, Rachel, no. Not <laughs> happening. It was, yeah. Yeah. 
But another one. variable, before I forget, another variable for um, either yes or no on iron on wood is your wood. You have to be picky with your wood. If your wood is not smooth and if it's not flat, you're going to have some fails here. I even sanded these and they're pre-sanded, pre-done plaques from Hobby Lobby, but I sanded them again just to make sure that they would be nice and smooth. Huh? Smooth. Oh, Roberta said, not like the slice incident. No, Roberta. Oh, we're bringing that one up already. I that, love that this group. wound hasn't even I healed. Love this group. She just rubs salt in it. <laughs> I love it. I'm the one who, who mentioned it. Though. So, the, was, it it really was it Shauna? Was it Shauna that made that project? It. That was your quote. Was it Shauna or Beth? I can't remember who it was. Beth, maybe? With your quote on it, a little sign. Oh, and gosh. You're sitting there at the table, and I was like, Rachel, Rachel, have you seen this? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I saw it. No. I loved it. I was honored. I was personally honored because I would, at that point, have rather died than we that. Or I commented that. that it was my favorite member project today, and I still stand by that comment. Anyways, so funny. for all you beginners that don't know what we're talking about, I'm sorry. You don't want to. I'll leave it us, to you if you just want. Just know us for these. I'm going <laughs> to... She almost got me to curse on the live stream. <laughs> I'm crying right now. <laughs> For all you beginners, just know us as the great crafters we are. Yeah. Don't go looking at past yes. live streams where we are completely and totally human, okay? So if we don't have any more questions, I'm super excited to jump into the design space and share with you what we're doing today. Unlike the other patterns that we've used, thankfully, we don't have any, um, like we don't have to make these uh, repeating patterns or anything like that we size and go okay so here's the way that it's laid out except the biggest difference is that the flowers are going to be the same color as the backing so it's gonna look more like this but I wanted to leave them a little bit lighter so that we can just kind of see what we're doing so I'm gonna start out with a basic shape here and just for argument's sake, guys, I'm going to make our basic shape 8x8. Eight eight. We know that the exact dimensions are 7.87. Dun, 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 so 7.87. Boom. I guess I'll pop those in now that I have the correct dimensions. Might as well. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and change that color just to like a, a, a darker gray there. And let me go ahead and upload this pattern again. So this is how, exactly how it will upload right here in Design Space, itty bitty. And I'm gonna bring this up here and size it. Just size exactly how I want it. And I like a little bit of edge around mine, kind of like this. You don't have to do it like that. Um, like I mentioned, my two are not gonna look perfectly the same because I had a bit of a hiccup on the first one but again you live and you learn we're not perfect no one's perfect totally fine um, so at this point we're going to take our roses and change that color in design space um, I'll change it to a little bit lighter just like so so now we're here to this step this was super easy. We just imported the pattern, which was just like a cut file. I do want to mention, if you're doing this, guys, upload the SVG. Upload the SVG. Um, so once you get to this point, then we're here. We're here. You, you've made it this far. Now, all that we have to do, guys, is choose and kern and manipulate our font. Now, the font that we're going to use today, it is also linked down below in the description. And it is the font... Uh, affirmation. It is really, really a nice script font. I really like it. And I, because I love you all and I value your time, I'm not going to kern this entire quote. I'm not going to do it. Here's what I'm going to do. However, gonna... you should if you're making it. Do what? Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Please, if you're going to make it, of course, use your entire quote. Kern the entire quote. It's a must. But I'm going to do a whole, I'm going to do, let's see, what should I top here? Da, 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 da. I'll do scene us together and then we're going to go and get our font and I know that grammatically this doesn't roll off the tongue really well um, they say nothing lasts forever but they ain't 
seen us together. That's the way he sings it. And I'm sorry, I could not change it. Couldn't do it. It wasn't, it wasn't in my heart. So all you grammar Nazis out there, this is just Luke Combs. You just take it up with him. Um, so I will do this part. Now I did put spaces in between here and all that good stuff, but sometimes fonts just don't want to really show that they're spaces. So here's what I'm going to do, especially if you do more than one word at a time, I do not recommend to start with the letter spacing tool. Now, like we say all the time, there are a thousand ways to get to the finish line and as long as you get there, it does not matter how. So, you know, Becca might disagree with me in that she might want to start out with the letter space tool. For me in particular, I like to go ahead and ungroup this entire phrase and just focus on one word at a time. So right now I'm going to click on this S and I'm even going to bring my screen in a little bit more. And now I'm going to take these two, oh, the N is part of it. I'm going to take the E, E, N, and I'm going to use my arrow keys, guys. And I'm going to scooch my arrow keys in here. And then I'm going to, you know, click off, grab my other two letters, go on in there. Now, I just have to tell you, for all the newbies here, this is a 100, 1,000, 1 million percent must. You have to kern, and a lot of people don't really know what I'm saying. I know I'm very country. It's K-E-R-N, kern. You have to kern your cursive letters. Any cursive script font that you have, you have to kern it, or it will not look good. It's just, it's, you got to do it. So look how much better that scene looks, okay? So now I'm going to kind of scroll around here, and then this one's super easy. Just use those... Um, those little arrow keys. Even the scroll feature on this updates a bit better, I have to say. And then we have this one, which there's a lot of space here, and it's just kind of odd. Um, and I will say, our T and our H are going to be uh, getting buddy-buddy, and I don't want anybody to freak out because that can also... I actually saw one just the other day of a member. I'm not sure who it was. I wouldn't call them out anyways because that's rude. But I saw a member who remade a keychain that I made last week, and they put their name with a font, and they had two T's in their name side by side, and they let the top of the T's touch but not the bottom. And that is just something that's completely normal. If you guys see that, I get it. But And if, if you think that that's the way it should be, I understand why. Why? But you do sometimes have to have the tops kind of overlapping and it might look awkward to the eye, but it really, really doesn't. It's just because you're so close to the project. But in reality, if you're reading it, you want the bottoms touching because picture it like you're handwriting this. So you wouldn't stop in the middle of a cursive T to just like start another cursive T right next to it. I hope that that makes sense. Um, so we'll get there eventually too. I'm going to scooch in those and just go letter by letter here and the reason why I like the arrow keys so much is because you don't want to do a whole lot of shifting around manually because you can accidentally make one go too far up and one go too far below and then your whole word looks a little awkward whereas if you only use arrow keys even if it looks a bit odd to the eye it's still even evenly proportioned so here is what I'm talking about Let's go ahead and scooch this T in. Now, some people might say, uh, even farther out, like the T is touching here, so we're gonna stop there. No, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna keep going. You're gonna go all the way over until that touches. And I'm actually gonna go one extra um, because if it's just over a hair, then this will black out because this little top of the T will be scooching in here. And it's a whole thing you guys know you guys know how that goes. So I'm going to scooch this in so the T is showing in the H just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this E and this R and do the same thing. Scooch that in. And my R is going to fit beautifully right here with my E. Now look at that pretty word. And it flows well. It looks handwritten. Looks so pretty. So now I'm going to scroll out here and find our words here. Now, the together looks like it's huge. I get that, but this is it's all the same size. All of these words are the same size. So don't go sizing anything separately. Now, whenever you are kerning and you're doing anything with cursor fonts, the next most important thing, aside from the kerning, of course, is making sure to weld. Now, you want to do this because right now, even if I take these, okay, I'm going to take these and I'm going to attach them because I want them to cut together. Even if you attach these because you want them to cut together, look over here on the layers panel. They are still separate letters, but you want these to 
to cut as one whole word. You want it to be like it's handwritten, just kind of writing the word S-E-E-N. You don't want to stop in between. You don't want there to be little cut lines from this S where it meets the E and all that. So you want this to be one word. How you do that is by clicking weld. So we're going to click weld. Now when you click that scene, look up here, S-E-E-N, one word. Perfect. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Us, weld, together, get it all in there, weld. Perfect. This looks great. Now another thing is once you uh, kern and you place, let's say we're scooching him in, scooching him in, get him where you want him, make sure that you go ahead like underneath this, kern the rest of your phrase, kern the other um, side of your little uh, quote box if you want to before you size all of these. You want to make sure you're sizing the quotes together. You don't want this one a bit smaller than this one or vice versa. You want them to be the same size. Um, so that is how to do that. Just make sure that once you have these, once you have it how you want it, we're going to attach that together. And we don't have to weld these together because all we're welding together right now is the actual phrase. The words themselves are already welded, so there's no need to weld the whole phrase together if that makes sense. Feel free if you want to. Um, so once you get this, we have went ahead, did our entire quote, placed it up here how we want it, how we want it. As you can see, we have these kind of scooched in the corner here. Now we could have them in the middle if you want them centered in the middle. I want mine to kind of be, and you can do this too. You can have this one scooched up here, this one scooched, woo, excuse me. You guys know where I was going with that though. This one scooched down here. However you want to do that, you can do that. I'm going to have both of mine. Oh, did it again, guys. Going to have both of mine scooched in together like that. And if you see me fighting with this, if you want to fix that for the time being just here in Design Space, you can grab both of those layers. And how you know those are selected is by looking over here in the Layers panel. Both are selected, and you can click Group. Now again, group, all group will do is attach things here on the canvas. It does not keep them attached when you move on and you click make it, but it helps you here in the canvas to make sure that things are where you want them as you're creating projects just like this one. So Becca, you've been tippity topping away. Mm -hmm. I've just been <clears throat> just jabbering my jaws. I have a quick question and I was answering it via text, but I'm just going to do that. Please really do. Uh, are there any videos with the Cricut Joy? I'm having trouble finding videos on crafts for that. So my answer is that you can do any of our projects that use cardstock, vinyl, or heat transfer vinyl. Um, as long as they are small enough or you cut the design small enough to be used in your Cricut. So yeah. like just... Uh, adjust it, adapt it so that it can be on your joy. The reason that we don't do a lot of projects with the joy is because it's really only fantastic for small decals yep. and cards and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, we don't encourage people to purchase that as their own or as their only uh, die cut machine because mm -hmm. price point wise, you can spend what 40, 50 extra bucks and get an air two and have all sorts of limitless upper, um, yeah, opportunities with it. So, yeah, which we would um, highly recommend doing if yes. you think about getting a Joy. The but, Joy is a good secondary machine if you want. Yeah. If you travel a lot or you're in a camper a lot or if you just or want to customize things at yeah, like itty bitty. craft fairs and yeah, things like that. That's but, fine. But we don't suggest learning. Yeah. Machines. But any of our projects, like I said, that are cardstock, HGB, or vinyl, um, just adjust them, size them down so that you can cut them out with your restrictions of the Joy. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, good. Thank you, Becca, uh -huh. for doing that. Um, Miss Janice, are we, we done in design space? Yeah, well, you okay. can go back to me. Yeah. Well, kind of. I'll switch back here in a minute. Okay. Um, Miss Janice, she's asking a question about when we are live. Uh, right now, <laughs> we are live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. However, come March, so just in a month, we are going to be switching. And Tanner already made an announcement on this yesterday, so it's no news to you guys. We're going to go down to one live a week here on YouTube. The rest are going to be over on the member only Facebook group because we are just like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, pouring into our members. So you'll be able to catch one of us, myself, Tanner or Becca here on YouTube at 1.30 PM Eastern every Thursday, starting in March. Yeah. So 
Thanks for asking. So you get to enjoy three lives a week for four more weeks or something like that. Um, which guys don't think we're like cutting out content because we are replacing all those live stream days with other amazing pre-recorded, curated, polished, beautiful videos for you guys to continue to master your machine. So yeah. Okay, so we can switch back in design space just because I want to show them a couple more things and then we will whip out because you guys are asking some great questions today. So now that we have our quotes done, our quotes are attached together, we have our uh, floral pattern here, we don't need this fella, and we're gonna be cutting two of him. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate him here in Design Space, and now we're ready to go. So if we go ahead and click Make It, Everything we're doing today is uh, iron-on, so I'm gonna mirror, even though these are patterns and you don't necessarily have to mirror them, I'm mirroring them. Uh, now the quotes are super important to mirror. Make sure that you remember to mirror those. And I'm gonna scooch those over a bit, give them a little extra room here. Looks great. Now I'm gonna click continue. And we're gonna start with our pattern, except I've already cut and weeded those for you because like we've been saying, your time is valuable. However, we are gonna be able to cut, uh, or excuse me, weed one of these uh, quotes for you. So you, if you're a brand new beginner, you can kind of see that. Um, okay, so we're gonna select Everyday Iron On and go ahead and cut that. And Becca, you can switch to the uh, overhead cam while I answer a question. Phyllis says, what about members who are not on Facebook? That's a really good question, Phyllis. And me and Becca can always, or Becca can weigh in on this as well, but we highly suggest that even if you make uh, a nickname or an alias, which we heard you can do if you notify the customer service team that that's what you're gonna do because you do have to enter in some information in order to be entered um, or join that Facebook group. Even if you do it with just your middle name or something, we highly suggest you get into the Facebook group because it has a lot of not just member only perks inside there like the member only videos, but we also have first dibs on things. We announce things first to you guys. If we have anything that um, is super pressing that happened in the world or in cricketing or whatever, we always make it known to talk about it in there. Sometimes Tanner will load up a uh, Starbucks gift card and say, okay guys, go get a little coffee or a, um, you know, go get a little cake pop on me. So you really want to be in that Facebook group. We understand not wanting social media. Trust me, sometimes I wish I could just throw my whole phone out the window. But it's a really, really, really great um, group to be in. And to be honest, you can ask a lot of our members. It's almost their favorite, if not their favorite, um, membership park is the uh, Facebook group. Excuse me while I get in the floor to get our weeding tool because it failed. Um... And we have Mother Teresa Thompson. Do you have to pay to join the Facebook group? Of course not. However, it is member only. So you do have to be a member, any type of member. So I guess you kind of do have to pay because you need to be a member. But um, as soon as you're a member, you're in there. It's an amazing um, community there. We love our Facebook group. It's amazing. Um, so I'm going to get our camera in a bit here so you guys can see this weeding magic. I have our favorite weeding tool here, link down below. And I'm going to start in a corner. I like to start in a corner. You guys might be thinking, well, you know, text this this small. I'm sure it's hard to weed. Not a bit. It's super easy to weed. HTV makes quick work of it. I mean, look at these little bitty, little bitty little marks that are just staying on here great. Um, and then after this, guys, it's going to be a lot of patient ironing on. We're going to be using... Um, more heat and more pressure than you guys might be used to. And I'm just going to go and tell, ahead and tell you that's going to make the difference. You're going to be using quite a bit of pressure and higher heat. So usually in the past, iron-on was recommended to be on heat 300 for wood. And we're cranking our mini easy press to the 350 setting today. And it's the only way I had success with our other one, to be honest. Now I'm going in with our pin pin tool. Um, well, it's not ours, but you know, it's a 143 vinyls, also linked down below. It's amazing if you want to grab this. It gets all of these little bitty areas that you cannot reach with a normal uh, tool. It's an awesome little gadget. It's basically a, do you, what do you call this, Becca? It's just a needle, but like what kind of needle is this? 
what do you call it? Sewing needle? Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, I guess it's a sewing needle. It's like a sewing needle in what looks like a pen. So we love that if you want it. Um, linked down below. Just getting all these itty bitty pieces. So what I mean by that though is we are going to have a lot of patient ironing on. So get some great questions ready if you guys have any questions um, about the membership, about uh, the perks that you get. If you have any questions about Becca or I, um, ask away. Feel free to let us know and we're going to be happy to answer those for you guys. These are teeny tiny in here. Uh, how do I know when member only go live and where? Great question, Miss Becca. Well, actually, I'm not sure about that. Um, oh, well. Did he, well, uh, did we decide we were doing them on Wednesdays? Member only, are you talking about lives? Member only lives? Um, I think we've decided we're doing those Wednesdays in yeah. the Facebook group. No, that's group. very tentative, guys. Yeah, um, so we, honestly, our my plan is to once we have that nailed down um uh, we'll try to put little reminders like that morning uh, but it will probably be like wednesdays at 1 30 or something like that like a a schedule and then um if we do random ones which rachel and i plan to do some random ones here and there just to come in and talk with you guys yeah. then we'll give you guys a little bit of notice um and let you know that too but yeah. it would be over in the facebook group for sure so we have this weeded place down here this has been weeded this is kind of how it's going to look and i want to show you this other finished one here so if we can see that i, I don't know if we'll be able to yeah, you can see it. Look at that. Oh, guys, I just, I can't get over it. And whenever, of course, in person, you can see it almost on almost every angle. But I just think it looks great. Look how well the vinyl matched with the HTV, or the, the HTV matched with the paint I had, excuse me. And I love this saying. And then, of course, this other one is going to be scooched over and matching it just like that. It's going to look so cute. So I can't wait to walk with you guys through that. So... Um, again, look at that technique. Like, cannot wait for you guys to master this. If you do anything with this, please put it in the Facebook group because I can't wait to see it. I love this. Um, so, place this down. Uh, you're not going to be able to see much as I'm heating this down. Um, I'll try and turn it so you guys can see. See that? So, I, it's laid down. It looks really good. Um, it's super even on all the edges, which I'm super happy about. And now I'm going to go in here with my easy press. She's heated to that second heat setting, which is like 150. And I'm going to start in the center and move my way out. While also giving some really good um, pressure on this. And also, guys, sometimes I like to rock my easy press this way just a bit if I need to dig into any little areas on my design I can do so like that so just make sure you're giving pressure more pressure than you would think because usually it's a no-no to give iron on um, pressure on wood but we we recommend it for this little task here that we're doing today it needs it a bit sure does so we're just continuing to go from the middle out and the reason we like to go from the middle out is because the transfer tape likes to ripple when it gets super hot it just buckles a little bit um, and that would cause some problems if you're bouncing around from part of your project to the other part if it's wrinkled it might start um, waving up and might ruin a little part of your project and we don't want that so be super mindful about that um, we are seeing um, beautiful bubbles we know bubbles are a great sign guys so I'm gonna get in here and make sure I'm giving all of these some really good heat some really nice pressure and Miss Becca will let me know of any questions that I may have missed or that Miss Carol Stanford one of our favorites yes. is so helpful is pulling through and being very helpful again she says that Facebook notification directions um, so in order to turn on notifications when we're live and postings and stuff like that go to the top right of Facebook under settings and privacy then click settings notifications and then click to adjust how you get notified and what you get notified about so okay. fantastic yes Miss Carol Thank you so much, Miss Carol. Going, going above and beyond. Hi, Miss Carla. Carla says she's late to the party, but we're glad to oh, be here. Oh, Carla, that's okay. Welcome, my dear. Better late than never. And I'm seeing lots of bubbles. And here's the thing about iron on wood, guys. I will usually iron on uh, maybe two whole extra minutes than 
I might have needed to because I'm so paranoid and I'm so impatient and I hate having to peel it up and set it down and peel it up and set it down. Now, Rachel, you may have said this, but I want to point it out because please I wasn't do. listening. Please do. Um, when you guys are doing ironing on wood like this, you want to put enough pressure that it sticks, but not so much that the adhesive like seeps out from yes. underneath your vinyl. Yes. So keep that in mind. Also, if your iron is too hot, then it sort of overheats and the adhesive seeps, seeps out and you have like this kind of shadow ghosty thing looking yep, around your vinyl. Yep. So if you have that issue, then try putting less pressure and less heat. And guys, this, you can't really see it, but I can. It's looking really good. And I have another amazing hack for you all if you are going to be ironing on a lot of wood. Uh, because I want to say maybe seven out of ten times, even when it looks good like this, there's just maybe some areas in the middle of yeah. certain things. Like if I move this this way, see how pretty this is? But if there's like right here in the middle of this pedal, I just see a little bit of bubbling, which means it's not adhered perfectly to the wood down underneath there. So I have an amazing another step that you guys definitely need to do if you have that happen. So I'm just slowly removing this and I'm done with that. And look how beautiful, guys. Oh, I love it. Okay, now here's the step, okay? I'm seeing a little bit of bubbling. You're going to take your Teflon sheet and lay your Teflon sheet down. Now, here's why this is important is because the other one is sticky. So it's going to continue to keep sticking to itself, whereas this one has no sticky. This is just going to lay down. And I'm going to go in here with my heat. And this is going to lay all those little bubbles down without wanting to peel back up whenever I remove the transfer tape because there's no transfer tape. So this is kind of like a reinforcement, if you will. I'm just kind of going through there with my heat and making sure all those are laid down. Oh, and it looks so good. Mm -hmm. So here's the finished product right now. I think it looks amazing. And of course, straight on, you can't really tell much is going on, but that little pop there is just, I can't get over it. Becca came downstairs with that project and I was like, I'm gonna die, I can't deal with it. Um, so we're gonna leave that heated up to that same heat setting and we're gonna align up our quote here. Now we're gonna, we can bring our other one in if you want to make sure that these are identical well, of course, not identical, but, you know, the placement is very similar. So I'm going to scooch this in, and I wanted it as close this way and this way as possible, just like this one's closest this way and this way. So I'm going to make sure it's close to the bottom and close to the edge over here, just like that. And see how pretty this is going to look? Oh, guys. Now hold it up, look at it, make sure you lock it, and I love it. So if you need your Teflon sheet, you can go uh, in your Teflon sheet. Oh, and Miss Bell. So that is how this is made. If you can see, there's like little uh, holes where this whole thing is made because it's like a plaque and then it has a piece of wood on the top of it. So those little black holes, if you will, are little like staple marks. So yeah, those are always there. Feel free to fill those in if you're super bothered by them, but we're not really bothered by them. Um, Charlotte, I do the Teflon sheet on the finished designs on all HTV. Yes, sure, that's great. Um, Janice, it did not come with a Teflon sheet. No, this is uh, Cricut's version. Um, however, this is, um, it's not called the Teflon sheet. It's called like a heat protectant sheet or something like that. And Miss Janice, I'm the one who's making this. My hands are Rachel. Rachel. Miss Becca is the one that you will hear but not see, unfortunately. She is the one replying to all of our amazing comments and switching our amazing cameras. Um, so yeah, so this, the link down below for the Teflon sheet is actually one off Amazon that we really like too, because this one was really overpriced, go figure, right? But uh, we really like that. So we have, have these lined up. I really like the way they look, especially separated a couple inches, which is how it's gonna be on the wall. It's gonna look perfect. So you can apply the Teflon sheet back over this if you're worried about hitting this, um, like a unprotected HTV, if you will. However, I'm gonna be super careful, so I'm not worried about it. Plus, I really like the control of being able to see those bubbles form. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and go from the middle out, just like so, and then I'm gonna add that pressure. 
add that pressure in here and you got to be careful especially on thin little cursive words like this and miss becca will 100 percent attest to this um because we've both definitely had it happen with the higher heat plus pressure you could kind of whoop there goes a, a letter slipping because you got that adhesive underneath there a little too hot and it could just kind of slip and slide there so rachel when you get a second flip that over so they can see what it looks like on the back look at that it's not a hunk of wood no so it's, it's got, really light it's really like light. a plaque mm -hmm. and then it has these little teeth on there which i didn't think about i probably did these on the wrong side you know that i did that that um Really? Oh my god, I did both of them on the right side. That's completely Well, you were right lucky. There. That's luck. I was going to be super sad. I am I am so bad about making signs and thinking, oh, I'm just going to prop this up. And then like a couple months later, I'm like, oh, I want to hang it. And yeah. the tooth thingy is on the side or something. Uh, listen, That's I like great. it when they have two. That's helpful as well, especially if they're different sizes. Um, but yeah, so it's like a plaque on the back. And it's... It's really nice. It's nice and smooth. These are from Woodpile at Hobby Lobby. Um, Miranda so, said it would be fun to see Becca as well. I'm always curious how that works. So, Miranda, we can't see Becca or the co-host because generally whoever's co-hosting looks homeless on the day or they're not in front, in front of the camera. Amen. I need days to not wear makeup and to wear my Crocs and my big comfy pants. And My big comfy <laughs> pants. Becca's got me rolling right now with big comfy pants. So, we can't do that. <laughs> No, no, we 100% we cannot do that. Um, guys, you know I only wash my hair for you, right? <laughs> she doesn't for me. I do, I, no, I don't, I don't wash my hair for Becca. Becca, no, uh -uh. Um, But I wash my hair for you guys on Mondays, and then I look homeless on uh, all the other days. Um, except when we're filming, then I actually have to put makeup, makeup on, on. Because I don't even put makeup on for you guys, and it's not because I don't love you, it's because... You guys don't ever make me feel like I need it. And I think that's most important. The suggestion is that we have our names tattooed across our fingers. So would you want like our real name or our couple name? You know, Rebecca. Yeah. Our well, couple name, our work couple name is Rebecca. Um, so I think we could just do that. I think couple, well, me and Becca have always had a couple name. Uh, well, actually we haven't because it was just brought to our attention a couple weeks after Becca started that I'm Becca, she's Rachel, and vice versa. Uh, so we, we answer to Rebecca with just what, hey, what? So we don't really care. It's yeah. totally fine. Um, so here's the finished projects. Don't you love them? I love them. Let me know if you guys have any our questions. names. <laughs> Who said that? Terry? <laughs> Sure, our prison names. Sure, I I wouldn't even know where to begin with that. <laughs> Me I, either. I don't know where to begin hmm. because Becca's are. Uh, Becca's usually my fingernails are always painted. Mine are not right yeah. now. Sorry, guys. I love you. I should have put mine on. Becca's nails look the best for sure. And then Courtney's hands are Except like... right now. Courtney's hands are like the size of this paint Teeny bottle. Tiny. So, you know, which me and Becca do, I guess, have similar hands. We both have big hands, but I feel like our hands look very different, but, you know. Yes. Stacey, I haven't worn makeup in almost a year since I quit my job to stay home and help my kids virtual learn. You know what, Stacey? That I'm loving it. Amazing. And we found, and I've talked about this on a live before, the trends for 2021 are going to be a natural and almost makeup less, which some people like my mother will never adhere to this um, society. And we're very excited about the Hair at Makers Gonna Learn because me, Court, and Rach routinely do not wear makeup. In fact, one day, Courtney brought her makeup here because we had a shoot and it was here for like a month and a half and she never wore no. it. And kudos to her. We're not makeup wearers here. We're just not. I try to because I have rosacea. So if I know that I'm going to be on camera, sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. Yeah. Uh, I really... The R&B administration. Ooh, this sounds official, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. Denise says, do you only take showers when you're on a live? Denise... I shower every day. Yes. This hair, though, Don't. is a is a lot of work. So I <laughs> I wash my hair like every other day. Um, Debbie, since retiring, bras are even hard. I can relate, Debbie. Bras are hard. And guys, not to be TMI, I bought this new bra. 
from Airy, okay? I don't usually buy bras because you when you think of Airy, you think of like A and B cups and, and tiny that's not little teeny boppers. Sorry, it's yeah. not me yeah. at all. Never has been. So, but I found this one bra and it was really good. Great reviews for you know bigger busted women. And I was like, let me get this. And it's like I'm wearing pajamas. So now every time I have to wash it and wear my other bra, I'm like, oh, woe is me. So I, I get that. I do. I get it. Um. Aaliyah said bra, Beth, huh? Beth, I've never worn makeup, too. I've been practicing this for, or for this my whole life. Beth this is hysterical. Yay. We need to make a pact that Maker's going to be. Like, I will likely wear makeup most of the time, but maybe, maybe one day. If you guys have to be this close to me yeah. and see every pore in my nose like I see every day, I'm going to be rubbing stuff all over right. my face. <laughs> I love you guys, though. You're a little far away now, and I'm ho I'm hoping YouTube's a little blurry even. Maybe my complexion will be even out. Um, Marianne, I haven't even shaved my legs since March of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, why would you? Oh, who needs, why would who you? needs shaved legs? Why would you? Is there a costume member only? Well, you know what, Karen? I, I like this question. Yeah, me too. Let's switch over. And I'm going to give you guys a little breakdown of everything that you get with the membership and kind of answer some of those frequently asked questions about, you know, what it costs, what you get with it. Um, so let's go through here. So this is our membership. We have amazing members. We absolutely adore the members we have. I think we have over 1,200 members or no, 1,200, good grief, 12,000 members, which is like mind blowing to me. Um, and I want to show you guys all of our tiers. So we have a one month, a six month and a yearly. The yearly is our best value tier because um, it says $40 off. I don't know why it says that. Uh, you get so much more being a yearly member than being a monthly member. So whether you're a monthly or a yearly member, you also get the cut files, which we have over 6,000 of. You get the fonts that we have. You get printable guides. You get the access to the member-only Facebook group. However, when you become a yearly member, you also get that free commercial license, which is a big deal, guys. That means you guys get to sell the projects that you make using our cut files and fonts for free. We do have that exclusive Facebook community. Now guys, we are always in there. We're popping in there. We're replying to your comments. We're uh, pumping you guys up. If you guys need crafty help or um, if you guys just want to post your projects or if you need some constructive criticism, they are here for that. We have incredible printable guides, much like the one I mentioned if you're a beginner, uh, to help you master your Cricut in 30 days or less. Um, we have some great courses. We have, again, this 30 day challenge is amazing. Um, I think it's because I just haven't refreshed. I bet you money that's why. Yep, it was. Yep, here it is. Sorry guys, my bad. Um, but you just get a ton with the membership. You get that uh, Facebook group, my dear friend, whether you are a monthly member, six month or a yearly member, which is awesome. Um, where was I down here? All the courses. Here's a great visualization breakdown on what you get too. I'm a very visual person. So I love to just see all these extra benefits that you get being a member. And by the way, guys, check this out. Look at that number. That number is going down, which is awesome. Miss Becca has highlighted a comment for me. Let's see here. What comment has she highlighted? Becca or Rachel, can you help us find the member only videos on Facebook? So this is a great question. Yep. Uh, the answer is they're not on Facebook anymore. Yes, or are they, they start, still? No, they are not. They started out on Facebook, uh -huh. but we have found an easier way to do that for you all. Um, however, every time I post a new member only to the site, I do notify you all in the Facebook group. So you still have the notifications there, but they yep. are now under videos. See right here. Right so there. we have a tab, all these little tabs, we've added a video tab. And once you click videos, much like if you click fonts or anything, you have Cricut Design Space, Cricut Maker, Projects, Techniques. So you'll be able to see all of these here. If you are not, you're not logged in. If you are not logged in, you will not see them. Because they are member only. So she's going to log in really quick. Um, and that way you can see. You guys are about to, uh, to get a peek. Oh, oh <laughs> Tanner's. Oh, oh no. no. I like when this happens. Oh. It's the only one that gets canceled. Tanner's account's been t canceled. Maybe it's this Is one. it the, well, that's the one you just did. Oh. Is it the on turn video one? This is so sad. This is just sad. 
Just put Tanner, no email, just Tanner. Look at Becca thinking. I things. think, because mine's just. Watch it. It's just going to say it's been canceled, I think. Nope, took us okay. back. So, guys, you will see the back end of our site, which you will never have to see. Thank goodness. You're welcome, because it's a mess over there. And then anyway, now, now you go to videos. Uh, now you can see me, please, Becca. When I was going through here, I was like, you can see Cricket. Does that space where the crap is? It? She's I hope I can tell you. <laughs> Here they are, guys. So you can click member on the videos. Thank you, Becca. And here they are. Yay. There's so many cute ones. So if you want to learn how to make a 3D coffee cup, if you want to learn how to make a 3D card box or a lemon tablescape or how to engrave it with your Cricut or how to make this adorable K-Cup gift box, I mean... Becca has everything. If Lots you want to know stuff. our very favorite printable vinyls, right here, Becca's got an incredible comparison video on that where she literally like dunks them in water and stuff. It's awesome. It's amazing. <clears throat> There's some education on our favorite tools oh, somewhere. Yes. There's like 15 must have or something. Yes. Uh, but I'm always curious to know what you all want to see as member only content. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because this is your membership. And so I, you know, I can have an idea of things that I want to provide for you all in the education and training and techniques and all that fun stuff. But I really want to hear what do you all want to see as member only content? Yeah. Um, also, Beth's comment is literally, I'm not. She said, do we need to go fund me to ensure Tanner's account doesn't get canceled? <laughs> that must be the problem. He didn't pay. He didn't, he didn't pay. pay. His, Gosh. His subscription renewal. <laughs> the CEO didn't pay. That's rough. It's a rough one. But so God, funny. unless you have any questions, that's all she wrote. I've, I've got basically nothing else for you today. Yeah. I hope that you all have had a great day. I really enjoyed these. I can't wait to take them home. Um, because like I said, what we did it last year. We're trying to do it this year. We don't want to make anything that we ourselves wouldn't want in our own home because those are the things that you guys are going to resonate with as well. The only thing I'm probably going to do is slap a quick coat of polycrylic on these bad boys with a soft bristled brush. Um, again, if you want it to be glossy finished, you can get that glossy. If you want it to be satin or, you know, matte, whatever you'd like, um, just to kind of make that last forever, which I love. Uh, you guys are great. Thank you for joining with us today. I've seen so many, you know, friendly faces, and then I've seen some newbies, which I'm super excited to see. We love newbies. Um, back to the snow. I can't believe you guys have so many so much snow oh it's still snowing it's literally been snowing for like eight hours a full oh oh, oh this is a great thing what? a full list of affiliate links so miss sandra um where's that link for the amazon shop what do we have a plug for you yeah hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, I, hold on, hold on you know hold what on, i'm gonna have to do huh type it in i'm gonna have to type it in because you know just Becca you. Just is you. so dedicated when she types stuff in. I'm going to yawn. We have an Amazon Ooh. shop now that has, all, has well, most of our favorite links on it. Um, so it's even categorized like sewing and printable projects and... Uh, sorry, I'm getting a notification. Um, I, I don't remember all the categories. You can look at those, but oh, amazing. Fun. We probably, in like a Google Doc that we use on a daily basis to like link things in the descriptions for you guys, and Miss Becky uses them for the Facebook Oh, it's group. very easy. Let's we see have, it, it's like a, a list of like 150 random links, and then last week, I think it was Courtney's idea to compile them all into this like Amazon store, and they're really neat. So Miss Becca is typing that in hand tapping it for you guys because it's so easy though i thought it was going to be difficult okay here is the link i can't wait for guys to see it oh it's so good yeah yes there you go there is the amazon shop slash makers gonna learn so now you guys can shop what we buy so we have a tutorial on how to decorate a maker's machine like ours camille we do it's a member only video let me get these things out of the way yes where we talk about um your bitmoji and taking it from your phone or device and saving the image and uploading it and all kinds of wonderful stuff yes um so if you're a member of maker's gonna learn check that out we have lots of fun members who have used this tutorial Way and created really cute this designs on their this makers. sticker on our maker that's in every one of our videos has probably converted a bunch of members because because people Honestly, yeah. want to know how to do this. It's amazing. Yeah. Becca put it on here. And it's been we great. had one member, and I kind of want to do it at home on mine. They took the little uh, bitmoji, like the one where I'm spray painting yeah. there, and they took the cut file that said, eat my glitter. 
Oh, cute. Courtney, Courtney's little thing, and they made a drop shadow, and it looks like they're spray painting that oh, on their maker. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that that's idea. Cute. I think I'm going to have to change mine to do that. You might. You might. I may have to. Miss Shauna, Rachel, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is turquoise. Anything turquoise. Um, Mara said she just followed the store. So yay. fun. Yes, Marianne. The Amazon link is awesome. We were so grateful to be able to do that for you all. Uh, will it work if you have a Canadian Amazon account? Want to support you guys? Uh, Sin, if you're still here, can you weigh in on that? Do you know? I think it does. I think I it think, just kind of converts over. Yeah. We, which, thank you so much for asking that. We really appreciate that. Miranda, our favorite printable vinyl is by Zakoto, and it is linked in our shop, but I'll grab it really quick for you, too. Um, it is a glossy printable vinyl. It's beautiful. And I can't tell you how many packs of this stuff that we've purchased. It's amazing. I'm gonna say 15 or 20. Yeah, it's probably. water resistant. It's absolutely amazing. So there's the link to that. It's great. We absolutely love it. beautiful. We love it. Um, Sin says it would be purchasing through US Amazon and then mailed from there. Okay. Okay. Um, Thanks. Did Sam. I miss anything else? Oh, Asher says tell your best friends if they need anything, just let me know. I can get you whatever scissors or tape or paper. Oh, perfect. I mean, that perfect. is just the epitome of stellar service right there. That's, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do so you still funny. have the sure bonder link for the affiliate? God, yes, Beth, you're gonna make me type it all out. Yes, we do. We absolutely is it do. on here. Rachel, if you didn't update this, we're never gonna be friends again. I didn't update it. <laughs> and then we can't be friends. Give I me back my it. my half of my friendship bracelet. Yeah, you're getting it back. I'm I'm getting my hand tattoo removed from my hand. Oh, are you? oh yeah. no, it's it's over. Oh. Hold on, let me get it. I, what if I update it like in five minutes? I'll consider okay. not revoking your friend card. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate Collections. it. Zakoto is a small family-owned business, Megan says. Uh, what? We love that. Really? That's awesome. I don't know support if this is them. A, support uh, the small businesses. Beth, why do you feel bad? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Because you're the one that asked, yeah, you should. Because you just caused you just our, friendship. Broke our friendship. You broke our friendship. But, but one, basically, one of us has to quit now, Becca. <laughs> oh, I just linked the wrong. Dad, gum it. Beth, I'll give it to you after the live. Text me or private message me or whatever. I'll give it to you later. <laughs> Becca, we have to we have to rock, paper, scissors on who's going to quit. Cause we're not okay, okay. Right. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you lost. You only get one try. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Tanner, if you're here, <laughs> here's the resignation. Just that a two-week notice. We worked it out over rock paper scissors <laughs> on a live stream. <laughs> we had uh, a couple hundred uh, witnesses. <laughs> you guys are mad. And don't you do one, two, three? You went. What did you do? <laughs> you put out your sign anyway. It didn't matter. You just lost Baron Square and you're being sore about it. <laughs> I just didn't want to quit. I really like my job, but. Uh, this may be a little too personal, but do you guys have like a biography page for you all? It would be really nice to get to know you better. Pets, favorite colors, quotes, birthdays, et cetera. Sandra, I love this idea. This and we actually idea. had a um, series of emails that went out with some fun questions, we like did. get to know the staff. Um, but yeah, we need to put those out for you all. I think that's a fantastic idea. Oh, Send great. an email to customer service so they can compile a list of well, they yes. have it anyway, but that's just a great su suggestion. Yeah, Sin just reiterated just what Becca said and said, but no actual pages yet. It would be a, it would be great to have a get to know you page, or if we had like a little video of each of us, be like, hey, I'm Rachel, I'm a, you know, whatever, we're makers and learn. And we Lori's on your side. She thinks this should be best out of three. However, I voted and she lost, so it's just one and done. Um. Crystal, you said your favorite color was what? Turquoise. turquoise. Anything turquoise-ish. Mint, green. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite color is green. The only color of green I don't like is like neon lime green. Like chartreuse -y. Yeah. I mean, some chart like 70 chartreuse I can get into, but Do you neon. like like the... Like olive sage. Love, love olive green. My favorite right now is like the color that I did my, my paint in my bedroom doors. That sort of, I don't even know what kind of green, but green is my favorite. Becca you broke up scissors. the prison, Beth. Becca opened with scissors. Did, oh. What? Huh? What? 
She's Rachel they always, throw always out rock. I threw out rock first. They're telling me to throw rock out first. I, I did. You know what? I don't know. It was it was in the heat of the moment. It was in the heat of the moment. She, do you she, like sheets or rolls of vinyl or HP? Kim, we like the rolls from one four three vinyl because in bulk you pay it's dirt cheap and you get so much of it. We love the bulk rolls. Shana, who opens with scissors? <laughs> I don't know. Me? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so nervous I almost forgot what all my options were. I don't know. What, what's like, my, my kids are such cheaters. They like, like Fallon is four now. She just turned four in December and Becca is seven and he's everywhere. And when they play rock, paper, scissors with you, they inevitably look to see what you are throwing and then they're like, oh, oh, oh. So god. Stinkers. They are stinkers. I love them. Maybe I should take out a page of their book. I yeah. When do you do monthly challenges? Where can we find those? I wasn't able to find the description, but not the video. Um, so, well, the reason, I mean, you can find the videos on the Facebook group, but it's not important that you have the video because um, you don't have to follow what our project was. Like this last time, we didn't even make the project on the live. We just talked about it. So uh, the monthly challenges, we issue the first Thursday of every month. And um, what are you doing? Nothing. There's a, there's an issue that should not be an issue right now. Oh. So as soon as this live is over, I'm gonna handle that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, we post those to the announcements, which is are the top of the Facebook group pages every single month. They're there the entire time, and you can check it out there. We also send out an email with information on it. So if you are not on our mailing list for emails, Get contact us, customer service, hi at makersandmiller.com. We'll add you. We're happy yes. to. Please do, because we want you guys to get all of the goodness from all, the, all angles of the membership. You have a whole month to enter in the challenge, right, Becca? Like a whole month to do that. I'm not paying attention. I'm reading a comment that I think you're talking about. Okay, yeah, good. a whole month, an entire month. Yeah. Oh, Megan. Oh, look at Megan, our little cheerleader. Megan, were you a cheerleader in your former life? There are 200 people here and only 59 thumbs up. We can do oh better my than gosh. this. Megan is our cheerleader. Thank you, Megan. Make Megan's yes. day and go Thanks. like our video. Like the video. Leave a comment after the live is over. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified with all the content yeah. that we give you. Yes, remember Thank to subscribe. You. Please, if you are not a subscriber here, definitely subscribe to our videos and help us reach our goal. We have a lofty goal, guys. Sure. So we had a meeting today. I want to talk to you guys about this. Tanner tried to say that I said this was low, like a low. I feel like you did because I, I remember this conversation and I was like, Rachel has lost her mind. When would I say? I don't know. Okay. Our but goal is 600,000. By the end of the year. By, by the end of 2020. One. Yeah. There I am again. Yes. Um, subscribers on YouTube. We're at 356 thousand and he wants us to um yeah be a six hundred thousand youtube subscribers so help little old me and becca reach our goal <laughs> megan was a cheerleader in high school i love that I love that. I was a cheerleader when I was like three. I was a cheerleader for upward basketball if you oh god they upward basketball yeah league. i had my uh my uh, sketcher sneakers and the uh what are those things called the pom poms pom -poms that you had to like throw in the dryer. What were those? Like you threw them what? in the dryer to oh, get them to get them unwrinkled. <laughs> oh, God, Hilarious. did they have like the long sticks? No, oh, they weren't yeah. even like the small ones. Oh yeah, 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 no, yeah. they were terrible. Sam, you're right. Our meeting today wasn't nearly as fun as last year's because it did not end in a melting pot that I didn't go to. So I'm. <laughs> I didn't either. Where was I? You were getting someone's dress or something for a oh, wedding. I mean, I've been in so many weddings. Yeah, it's true. Sam, you gotta come back. Come back, Karen. I'm looking to become a member when I get my taxes. What a fantastic investment with your tax return. Absolutely. Investing in yourself, especially you guys knowing the difference between being a monthly and a yearly member and the value you get being that yearly member you just get so many more perks you save money you get to learn more you have more to be able to explore on the website we don't hold anything back from our yearly members and I love that you are seeing the difference you know you could pay $19.99 a month $19.99 a month to be a little bit more limited or you could save up weight and use that money very wisely on an entire year of crafting with our best value membership to get everything we have so we are so so glad that you guys um 
Yeah. Um, or doing that. Mary Ann said, if Tucker the Golden Retriever can have a million subscribers, you guys can get 600K. Mary Ann, Tucker's adorable. Tucker I mean, adorable. have you seen that dog in his videos? They're stinging adorable. When he like, when he's like looking at you, but like tilts his head down and sort of looking up over his nose, listen, like at you. Oh listen. my gosh, I would give the dog anything he wanted. Same. Cutest thing ever. But yeah, I think so too. So that's a great goal that we have. Becca, the snow is sticking now. Ooh. Oh. So guys, thank you so much for a wonderful live. You guys are like our family. We are, I, I don't want to get all bittersweet. We are going to miss three lives a week with you guys. Sad face. But guys, we are just gearing up and we're we're going to be pouring into you so many other ways than live streams for our members and to make sure that you guys are loved and happy and just to make sure that we're co continuously gearing up and making sure we are our best so, for you all yeah i mean just to be completely frank and transparent yeah. like one of one of the goals my one of the new tasks that i am being commissioned with uh for the year is member retention so yeah. meaning it's fantastic we can easily get you guys we want to get you members, and we want to keep you. but what will keep you guys here and that i'm going to be looking at those things as well as the rest of the team and like it's not like we want to get you into our membership and have you join the membership and then leave you high and dry like that's not our goal no. so not yeah right. we're constantly looking for new and We've fantastic made a lot of ways this year yeah, yeah to um, do so. so don't feel like we're abandoning you no at not all. at all no and we do have a great question uh, if i upgrade from a six-month membership to yearly do i get credit for the difference or what i can't read the rest of it but what happens is you don't get credit it tax on so if you want to get a yearly membership it'll tack on to that six months or the remainder of that six months, if that makes sense. So if you'd like to do so, go ahead and join, contact customer service, let them know what's going on, they can help you out. Um, also, Megan, the new schedule starting March. So you'll get us three lives a week for the remainder of February, and then we're switching to our other um, amazing schedule. There was another good question. I need to scroll up. When do you announce the winner of the monthly challenge? Miss Christina says. Thursday, we'll announce Thursday. Uh, Thursday? Yeah, I guess we'll have to do a member only. Yeah, we sorry, we're working thing. this out live right in front of you all. Yeah. Yeah, Thursday. I already wrote a list of everyone who participated. We had such a fantastic yes. participation this year or this month. I think the highest is this year. that we've had, yes, um, in the past was like 18 or 19 submissions. We what had we at? over 50. <gasps> we had one member who submitted nine. Miss Shauna, nine. Shauna. Yes. So congratulations. That was amazing. That's amazing. And all those projects were super fun. So anyway, um, fun live, guys. Thank you guys so yes. much for being here and for taking the time to ask your questions and join us live and our goofiness and our fun. We're so thankful for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it because I super enjoy these. They're so cute. I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday and a fantastic Tuesday, and we will see you Wednesday. Beck, are you trying to holler something? Well, for before we leave, Miss Life Woman said, okay, getting the yearly now. Thanks, gals. And Yay! I just want to say congratulations on your membership. Welcome to the MGL team. And the first thing that you need to do is head on over to Facebook and become part of our private Facebook group. The second thing is to download your 30-day challenge yes. book so that you can get all of the benefits from your membership from day one. So yes, grab that do. and we'll see you guys and here. If you guys want to go on the Facebook group, the easiest way is to go to the homepage when you're logged in and click yeah. community. It'll take you right there, which is amazing. Yeah. Thank you all so much. That's amazing. We cannot wait to see you on Wednesday for another fun craft. See you later. Bye guys.